Hello, welcome back, and it's another day on the van build. It's another very rainy day on it the is. van build. Unfortunately, it's pouring down, and um, raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and, and dogs. Yeah, that's it. So we can't work outside today, but I've got loads oh, left to do outside. Um, the van is waterproof. Well, we hope so. Uh, we, 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 down. We, it's not letting in water. Well, yeah, it's not letting in water in any of the holes, is it? So that's always a good sign. Um, whether it's laying in water up here and we're going to have a swim pool. Probably open it up. Uh, it doesn't sound like it, but you never know. So what we're going to do today is uh, cut some of the roof out. I am going to look at maybe changing the design a little uh, to give Maximus a bigger bed above us. So we think we've got a bit more space up there and we're going to cut a hole now. Uh, we're going to cut the first section out, but first we have to have a bit of a tidy up because it's become the lumber yard with all the off cuts. Uh, I don't think there's any difference in size between the two sides. Can you see it? It's got a carry handle there. It's got a drive shaft here, and that drive shaft works that up and down. And instead of a blade, God, I'm sweating, it works like a punch. And every stroke, it punches out a small piece of metal. That's the theory anyway, I've not tried it yet. So this is gonna be first time. So as that spins, that goes up and down really fast and punches out man. There's some bits in here that need tidying up that I couldn't see, but just some nibbling ends. But I'll tell you what though, it's bone dry in here. going back. Oh, I tried the nibbler, it took too long. Yes, it's more messy with this, but... Oh yeah, it's definitely going back that, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it can't do very much of the job it was supposed to. there's never an option to run. A bigger hole, hooray. Wow, that, that nibbler does a neater job, but you can't argue with the speed of a Bosch blade and a reciprocator saw. The electric bread knife. Sulking. You're sulking because you can't come out. Are you watching out the window? You watch your mummy over. Sulking.
huge here at the front. <laughs> I mean, it certainly it's, has. It's a massive difference, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just to be able to stand up like that and turn around is massive. It's Ma it's Maximus's bed that's the conundrum, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we're trying to work out. I was going to put it down here and put storage higher up. Uh, but I decided that I might try and put Maximus's bed higher up and put storage down here. So we're that gonna have to go thing. back to the drawing board, aren't we? And just just have a think about things and measure things and Definitely. Yeah, because it's obviously once you've done it you want it to be the final thing. I know everybody says your van build's never finished, but big jobs like that we want to be finished. There isn't just enough room up there. It's fair tight. You wouldn't be able to sit up. No, it's just I've been up and it's you could sleep up there and it's it's quite I find it quite peaceful up there. You can hear the rain pitter pattering. It's lovely, isn't it? But it'd be too claustrophobic for It may me. be too claustrophobic for I, I quite like small spaces. Yeah, but he does. He likes he, small type of spaces. He needs to have a bit of room as well, so yeah. we're gonna have to think about it. <laughs> You're busy. Uh, have you got my slides on? Yeah. Not just any old buttons, are they? What buttons just are they? Giant button. Good morning, good morning. It's uh, it's Friday now. Uh, yesterday went well, but we only had a few hours on it. And by the time we finished messing about with that nibbler, it was... Um, it, it, all the videos I watched on those nibblers, they work really well, but that one just disintegrated. The punch rod broke to pieces. And um, yeah, once the reciprocator saw went on, it cut through it like butter with a new Bosch blade on. But it's 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 lovely in here now. Got in this morning and what a change is. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, it's lovely in here now. Can stand up, can walk around. So what I'm going to do is everything is bone dry, but obviously there will be some moisture in the van. I'm going to uh, bring a dehumidifier in and I'm just going to take all the moisture out and then I'm going to insulate in between all the panels with Celtex and then take them all in. Um, and the same with the ceiling. So today, the sun's back out. I've got some melamine board there. And if you've watched through the whole van build and not just the roof build, you will know in, I think it was episode four, I mocked up a template for um, my sizing for the, for the side pods I want to make. So I need to make a mold now so I can cast some fiberglass side pods. Uh, they're gonna be black so they run the line of the window. And I think I'm going to start that today. I don't think I'll get to fiberglass in them, but if I can get the mold made up and ready to go, uh, I might need a couple of bits. I think I need some wax and uh, some other bits, but we'll start on that, I think. So here we go again. Um, so as you can see from the base of the mock-up, uh, that's what we did in episode four when we took all our measurements. Um, I'm just familiarising myself with them again because it's a while since then and I've done a lot of thinking about the roof. So that was the back. The back is pretty much spot on there. And the front, once you pull it back and you take some out of it, it's definitely gone on that crease there. I just really take that out, but we know that's going to be pretty good. Uh, so what I want to do is work out my angles now. So 35 mm from there will be the flange. I'll go 40, just to give myself a bit of meat. Okay, there we go, that's that one. 250, 250.
20 degrees. Yeah, so up that way, 20 degrees. So that's just 10 degrees, that's 8 degrees. ever a prop for a fancy dress but I like it um, but it took a bit of a knock last week it obviously got blown about and rolled about and got covered in gel coat uh, but I'm still gonna wear it to work in but I have treated myself to a proper Australian cowboy hat waterproof leather but I am not going to wear it to do the van building. So I will be saving it for when I'm away. Uh, I might get some corks to keep the flies out of my face since they've been eating me so much this year, I'm not getting corks, but I might get a fly. Uh, but yeah, I've got myself a nice hat and I really like it. So I'm chuffed with that one. Let's get that on. 
this one with please. Yeah, we want to just try and keep it. If you take that end and sort of like, so it doesn't sag in the middle, just pull it that way a little bit. That's it. And then we can draw around and see where it sits. Okay, so that's a big... <laughs> It's a big like the waves in the sea. Right, I think that's about as much as I can do for today. So we've got, it needs obviously tidying up, rounding over, finishing off, but that's the basic form. When we go to Scotland, we'll be able to put the sledge on the roof because it'll be snowing at the Christmas time and go down the black run on the roof from the sledge. I think that's all we've got time for in this video. So we've got time for folks. <laughs> Bye for now. We're running out of battery. Uh, it's going to go. And um, yeah, I'm not going to get any more done today. I've got to pack up now. It's coming home. It's, uh, it is. So that's all that we've got time for, folks. Next time. <laughs> next time we're going to, um, yeah, I'll fill out all that and start getting it ready and level to cast some fiberglass in. And then Ooh. I'll cast some fiberglass in it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, please, if you've not. Please. Um, and give us a follow on Instagram. And we're on TikTok. And as I said earlier, I'm a TikTok superstar. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. Anyway, thanks very much. Take care. Bye. See you next time. Bye for now.